Alright, welcome back. This is take fucking two because the last 20 <laughs> minutes didn't record any audio. So, um, uh, here we are. I haven't recorded in like a month. It's only because I've been playing this game here, which is Seven Days to Die. Um, it's kind of like Minecraft with zombies and uh, I, I don't know. It's just, it's fun to play with friends. It, it's probably shit to play by yourselves. Graphics aren't that great. Uh, it runs like shit. Uh, but all in all, it's pretty fun, you know, um, because you can do anything. You can destroy the whole world and dig, and you can do all sorts of stuff. Make whatever you want. So uh, I'll give you a tour of our um, um, second base in the game. It's day 200. Um, this is the second base that we've had. The first base was on top. It was way over there, and it was on top of a uh, born and noble uh, place. And I just heard a zombie, so I'm just going to take a, a quick peek here. weird. Um, it was on top of a uh, Born and Noble, and then we found this prefab, and then we built it into this structure that you see now. Um, it works, but it needed a lot of repairing along the way, and still does if we were still here. But we are no longer here, because we are in our new base. Um, but I'll give you a quick tour of, uh, of uh, this here. This was the uh, our beginning farm. Um, it served its purpose. Got attacked quite a bit. Uh, had to do tons of repairs on it. Uh, the house itself um, does have a moat, uh, but it's a very small one. But it goes obviously it goes around the house. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Uh, it's only one um, square high, and we've kind of just you know blocked off the door and just uh, you know kind of made it zombie-proof, I guess you could say. Um, the difficulty is on hard. The zombies run during the day, uh, so which made it uh, that much harder. Uh, there is, uh, this is the, uh, way that we got, get into our house since all the doors were shut. We kind of dug down and dug tunnels. Uh, this is where we did a lot of mining and stuff. Um, I don't really want to go down here because it's a bitch to get back up, so, but, uh, let's do it anyways. And this is where a lot of mining took place. As you can see, you know, very, uh, uh, time-consuming, this game. This game, it'll just eat the time away. Uh, so pretty fun, you know, with friends and stuff. Uh, this is going to be a bitch to get back up. Uh, come on, bitch. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. And uh, there's another one of those tunnels on the other side over here. Uh, that's pretty cool, too, that Ducky made. It's got a big giant moat in it and stuff. Uh, we don't really need to go down there, but you can, you get the idea. Um, two ways into the house, this way here, this way here, this way is the quick way, or, excuse me, this way is the quick way in, this way is kind of the long way, uh, I'll just take the long way, um, all this stuff is here because the zombies busted through and we had to fortify and, you know, they were actually breaking in underground and, uh, pretty scary, a couple nights there, and there's kind of not a lot going on in this house anymore. I think there's only a couple bed rolls here, and that's about it. Uh, we had a bunch of these containers over here, and they were kind of stacked up. And this is the uh, the nice kitchen uh, that we used for uh, everything. I don't think they yeah, there's nothing nothing really here anymore. Um, fireplaces are done. That was our water supply here, like an infinite water supply, so you could fill up your glass jars and and uh, boil the uh, the dirty water and get clean water, so you could make other stuff and. Obviously, this is uh, we still got a little bit of stuff over here, and uh, I just picked up a supp supply crate on the last video that I was making, so that's why this nonsense is in here. But um, this is where the uh, forging section was. This is where we forged uh, all of the supplies for the for the new house. Uh, it uh, took quite a, a bit of time to do because uh, we don't have any. Um, any timers, or I mean, the timers are still on, so, you know, if I wanted to craft something, you know, this is going to take 8 minutes and 20 seconds of real time. So, it, it literally takes forever to craft stuff. But, um, yeah, this this uh, this place served its purpose. There was a big, long, like, bridge thing you could see uh, where we blew it up, but it, like, went across, and we can go up there and shoot at stuff. Um, there's the restaurant there. Our clan tags on there, P-A-I. 
Uh, we got uh, the big farm that we moved into. This used to be, uh, we had this all filled with trees, and then there was two houses on the corners there, and uh, we busted it all down and made a, um, uh, a farm out of it, and the last time I put uh, corn in there, it yielded something like, it was over a thousand corn. It was just nuts, man, stack after stack after stack, so pretty crazy. A little, a little excessive, uh, but that, I guess that's what this game's all about, so... So yeah, so this is the uh, the old place, and uh, we'll go uh, have a quick look at the um, restaurant quickly. But uh, this is where my time's been going. Damn it! What the hell's up with that door? This is where the time's been going lately. Um, it's pretty fun. Like I said, with friends and stuff, we all get on here, and we can. Uh, you can, this is a uh, random generated world, so uh, it just keeps going and going and going into different biomes and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good with friends, especially if you get to the hub city where there's a ton of zombies. Uh, things can get sketchy really fast. So this was the uh, the restaurant. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here anymore, but uh, that's where we did all the cooking. Nice marble countertops with the red wood. Looks pretty sweet. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing in here anymore. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll take you over to the, uh, the new house there. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, I have a, uh, because you know, if you're inside, and you need to get out, you always gotta have a trap. Second exit. Because why not, you know? But, uh, Ducky's the one who, uh, decided to build us a big fortress, and, uh, it's big, I think, is an understatement. It's, uh, pretty huge. It's just a little ways over here. My health is down so far. So here it is over here. Um, again, this was all crafted by, you know, us finding resources and crafting and making. And, I mean, there was just a lot of just days and hours just spent just, just crafting and not doing anything else, just crafting. So uh, this this moat is uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, the water is three high, three blocks high. Um, in order to stack it, water like that. They had this elaborate um, um, they, they laid down like a couple layers of rebar and put the water in and you had to move the rebar and then put water uh, it was, uh, I don't even know how they did it but they did it and it turned out pretty cool and you can actually go into that water uh, too without uh, without dying here um, you gotta be careful but you can <laughs> ow, ow, but you see you can oh, I'm sorry you can go for uh, you know a little swim if you like, and you can see all the spikes. Um, it is it is uh, uh, pretty uh, uh, overkill to say the least. So um, the spikes are only uh, level to stage two spikes. Uh, we didn't have enough scrap iron, and the amount of scrap iron needed to do all of these spikes would have just been just just retarded. And the the, the wall there is uh, reinforced concrete, and then behind the wall is um, cobblestone. So uh, yeah, it will um, take them some time to get through that. Um, you would think that the zombies would just jump in and then, you know, die about halfway through. No, that's not the case. They, uh, they, they usually get all the way to the wall before they die, or they start beating on it, but it doesn't take long for them to, uh, um, die, you know. It does eventually kill them, so let's have a little look inside. So this is it. Uh, uh, we're still unfinished. We still got out doing stuff with all this grassy area, and you know, turning it into stuff. Um, this is the uh, the first aid area. Um, 
chairs knocked over. Um, we did spawn in these pill cases because, you know, it's like, why not? You know, we needed some aesthetics, and this game doesn't have a lot of them, so I uh, wanted some, somewhere cool to put uh, all your first aid equipment. So, uh, look at all those antibiotics that we found. I mean, this and these were all found. Nothing was spawned in. It's just, it's just pretty crazy the amount of stuff that we've uh, acquired over the last 200 days in this game. Uh, which is roughly about 100 game hours, uh, which really isn't much. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can see the extent of this base here. It's, it's pretty, uh, I mean, look at all those spikes, man. How many trees we had to make to get all those spikes? It was nuts. Um... So this is uh, just a nice little area here. We got a we got a little swimming pool, little leather couches, you know. You can take a little swim, watch something on the big screen TV, you know, zombie apocalypse style. Maybe watching 21 Days Later or something. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, this is where we keep all of our food. This is the nice little kitchen here. Of course, those respond in because you can't just pick those up, but uh, you know it makes it look good, you know, like the little signs and stuff. Uh, this guy had a little bit too much to drink and just died here, so we just left him here, which is cool, you know. There's a little bit of beer in the fridge. Uh, this is where we keep all of our um, stuff. Like I said, we have an abundance. I mean, just look at all that. I mean, yeah. So, uh, cooking, obviously, and all these all these drawers are just filled with this stuff, you know. Uh, this is all just corn after corn after corn. But, uh... Yeah, you know, I think the kitchen turned out pretty good. So, moving on here, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, these are all just uh, storage chests that have, you know, just your random stuff in them. Uh, this is <laughs> the Forging Central. Uh, we got a little overkill on all the forges. We'll never, ever, 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 ever need that many forges, but it looks cool, right? Because uh, we had uh, so many supplies that it, um, you know, we can just build that stuff for days. It's easy. And here comes clowns now. Oh, sometimes you can see them underneath the water, but, yeah, They're there. The crawler. Got him. So anyway, so yeah, this, so this is all the stuff here. Um, I'll show you all this, uh, you know. I mean, we just got an abundance of everything. Enough to last for some time. Look at all this brass so we can make, I mean, 33 ingots. I mean, that's just nuts. So, yeah, we do have an abundance of everything, which is cool. Uh, and here is uh, where we keep our bedrolls at. There's a nice little light in here. That's about it. That's just where our beds are at, so. But, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, the next couple of, uh, next couple of alphas will bring some good things. I, we don't, we're kind of unsure if Alpha 11 is going to make us do a uh, restart because it is a uh, kind of a graphics update for the game, um, which is supposed to be coming out maybe by the end of this month. It'll probably get pushed back again, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, since we have a good idea of the game, I don't know if I'm going to be doing like a series on it or what, but it, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see. So, but yeah, that's it. You know, that's this, this is where my time has been going lately. I've been uh, pretty much bored with Stranded Deep. Uh, there was another update here just a couple of days ago, and it's not that great. And, um, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, there's still nothing to do in that game. And, uh, uh, you know, Killing Floor, I mean, it's Killing Floor, so, if, you know, I've played it for, you know, almost a thousand hours, and I, it's fun to get back into for a game here and there, but, you know, I'm really wanting Killing Floor 2, so that's, you know, I'm just kind of put a pause on my videos, and I've only got, like, eight subscribers anyway, so it doesn't even matter if I'm fucking making videos anyway, so, um, but yeah, I hope, I hope as everyone has enjoyed this video, uh, this is a crazy base, and it will only get better with time, and 
hopefully with Alpha 11 they'll let you keep the base and not um, have it be um, your save game file will not work with the new update which is very possible so which I'm okay with it's gonna be okay to start over since we've uh, kinda beat the game already so at any rate we'll talk to you guys later oh yeah and for those of you wondering there's my kill count, 1889, and let's see, my character, was it, oh yeah, I'm back at 200, I wasn't at 200, I'm level 40, 200, um, and then of course, you know, I've got all the cool gear on, you know, look like a Robocop, so, again, that's it, thanks for watching, everyone, take care.